Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of 15 Minute Builds. And in today's episode, we are going to be building ourselves a church. So, first and foremost, let's talk about dimensions. This is 18 from here to here, not 18 in between, 18 including the corner logs, by 13 from here to here. So this box is 18 by 13, and then over here we have a 5 by 5 square centered in the middle of this side, and that's basically the dimensions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock starting right now. So we're going to use World Edit for this because there is no way that I would be able to finish this in 15 minutes if it weren't for that. So the first thing we're going to do is build this up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 high, like so. And then we will go like this, and we're just going to go walls and do oak walls, just like that. All we're doing is filling in the walls, so basically uh, six high oak walls. Simple enough, right? I would hope so. Then we're going to go ahead and take these out and grab ourselves some spruce logs, and in the corners, we'll go ahead and bring these up like so there we go and we'll do the same right here Oop. there we go and we've got our corners now we're going to go ahead and take spruce uh, stairs like this and we're basically just going to bring up an outline like so just a nice angled, simple roof, just like this until we hit the center of the building, which should be right about there. Beautiful. And we'll do that. Okay. Then we're going to do the same thing over here. And we're building up our stairs like this using a nice simple angle like a so all right now in the interest of time i'm going to go ahead and take out these blocks we will put them back in just a second here but basically what i want to do is go here to um do do do, do about here so here to here, and we're just going to go ahead and go stack 18, and basically that's just going to extend the roof over this way, just to speed up the process a little bit, because it takes forever to fill in roofs, and it's not really all that interesting, and I'm sure that you guys are smart enough to know how to fill in a roof yourself, once you have the outline, okay? So, easy enough, right? I think we're I think we're doing okay. All right. Now, now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and take oak planks and fill in this back section like so just so it comes up and meets the roof. Like that. We're just using oak uh planks again for that. And then right here we'll put an upside down stair. And right here, we'll put a right side up stair. Actually, I'm thinking right there, we're going to put a spruce slab instead. Yeah, let's put a spruce, a spruce slab right there, and we'll go stack 18 and just stack. Oh, I think I messed that up. Just kidding. Undo. We'll go here, here, and. There we go. All right, so we'll bring the slabs all the way across. Okay, cool. Now, in here, let's go ahead and do essentially the same thing. We're just going to go ahead and fill this in with oak. Like so. There we go. And I know I I want to address this because it's it's been a while since I've used World Edit in 15-minute builds, and now that it's available for 1.10... Uh, I do want to kind of use it. Um, 
If you look carefully, though, I'm not using it for anything other than just filling stuff in, okay? So, like, these walls, I could either sit here and for 10 minutes fill in the walls, or I can just use a single command and fill them all in at once. That's all I'm doing. I'm not using it for anything cheaty. I'm not doing anything with it that you can't do in vanilla, etc., etc. So, uh, next step, I'm just going to grab some glowstone here, just so you guys can kind of see the inside. And we're just going to kind of light this up. Now, for our floors, I think we're going to go spruce again. And let's just knock out this little section right here. So, we'll go here to here. And spruce, I believe, is one, right? Yes. Set five, one. So, basically, our floor is spruce. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Okay. And then right here, we'll go ahead and fill this part in with spruce as well. And then that's going to be spruce planks. Uh, and we can, I guess we can fill these in with spruce. It really doesn't matter what those are at all. So, okay. Now, we're going to come up over here and bring this up, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, does that seem good? Yeah, 17 high, that seems about the right height. So let's just go like so, there we go. And then here we'll do the same thing. And we'll just go to save us some time. Oh. And there we go. So we should have... All right. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and just delete all of this stuff. Because this is all going to be part of the tower. So we'll just go ahead and take all of that out. And let's just go... And delete it that way. That's a little faster. And I think that should be good, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Now we'll go and replace all of this with oak again. Ooh, did I? I think I brought these up just a hair too much. That's okay. So we will go ahead and we're basically just putting in oak walls around this little five by five. And finally here and here. And there we go. All right. So we've got these this kind of tower coming up now from the church, and I think that looks good. So then we're going to take some spruce stairs, and we're going to make kind of a, basically a hipped roof, like a sort of a pointy tower-looking roof thing. So here in the corners, we'll build this up one high like so. And then right here... We'll go up another level with stairs. We're going to leave these corners kind of un... un uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Untouched, I guess. There we go. And we'll put upside down stairs there. Oh, I just realized I still have auto jump enabled. Ah, okay. That's fine. And then here, we'll go up like so. And that should give us... A reasonable church roof. Eh, it looks all right. I'm thinking it would look better if we took spruce fences and did something like that instead. In fact, since this is a church after all, why don't we make it across like so? Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. Then in here, this is basically going to be like a bell tower. Uh, so we're going to knock out these little sections right here. 
and we're going to put a bell in here. So let's take that out, and let's just fill this area up here in with spruce. And I'm just going to use gold blocks for the bell. I think it probably is going to be our best option. Uh, we could maybe do something like this for our bell shape. That might look a little bit more bell-like. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, and then let's just take some spruce stairs and bring them across here. Just to kind of separate this out a little bit. And we'll do that. And that looks alright. That looks alright. I'm thinking right here we're going to take some spruce slabs. And just cover up this oak. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, awesome. Now, we need to do windows. Oh, and I need to also put all of these stairs in place right here. Like so, that's good. This side should be good. I thought I did it. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Okay. So now, let's knock out some space here for windows. So let's do... Um, let's just do it this way. Like so. Um, I'm kind of thinking I want those to be a little higher. In fact, maybe we'll put them here instead. I'm kind of making this up as I go, if you haven't already figured that out. So we'll have two really tall windows like this. Yep, good. And then here, we're just going to go every other, and it'll be a too high window. Like this. And like that, there we go. And then over here, we're going to do... Oh, over here we're going to do the same thing. Oh, wow, I am already down to 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, um, speeding, yes. Wow, that went way, way faster than I thought it was going to. Okay, and then here we'll put another window... And here we'll put another window, and then I'm thinking maybe we put a window right here as well that's just a little bit taller. And then this, we could potentially put a window right there as well. And that looks good. Okay, cool. Now, let's take some stained glass, and I want white stained glass, yellow stained glass, light blue, purple, and... um. Lime green, I guess. It doesn't really matter what colors you use, as long as you have different colors here. So let's do something like this. And I'm just kind of trying to randomize this a bit, because we want our windows to have different colors and things like that. Uh, let's do maybe something like this up here, and then we'll go yellow, yellow, purple, green. So, you get the idea. So basically, we're just making these kind of stained glass church windows that you would kind of expect to see on a church. And let's maybe go like this. And then yellow and white. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm kind of rushing through this. I would go... I would take a lot more time <laughs> to do these windows if I wasn't building on a time limit. But just kind of bear with me here. Oop, that was accidental. White. Uh, but you guys, I, I'm sure you get the idea as far as the windows are concerned. Um, let's do a yellow there. And maybe a green and a purple. Ah, breaking things. Isn't that just typical? That's okay. There we go. And then last but not least, we'll do a yellow, white, blue, purple, uh, green, yellow, yellow, blue, white. Okay, good enough. And I have 14 minutes left. This is, this is terrible. Okay, 
Um, I'm going to put a spruce door down because I think it feels the most church-like to me. We'll go ahead and grab, come on, where's the stuff I need? There we go. I need that. And some glow st I thought I grabbed oak fences. Here we go. Uh, so let's just bring a couple of chandeliers down from the ceiling like this for lighting. We'll do one more right here. Like that. And then I'm going to use dark oak stairs for the pews. And those will just go like this. We'll have basically rows of pews like so. And over here as well. Um, but you guys, I hope you get the idea. I'd like to do... A little bit of like an altar here. You know what? We're we're already past the time anyway. But I'm just gonna go. F I'm I'm gonna go past it, and I'm gonna finish the build uh, because we're almost done. So we'll just put like a little quartz altar type thing right here, something like that. Maybe put a maybe some red carpets on top of it, like this, and then right here. I think we'll take maybe gold blocks and just do something like that as kind of a a church symbol. Um, we'll maybe take... No, I don't want chiseled quartz. We'll maybe take some uh, little thing over here and make like the little area that the person, that the, the, uh, the pastor or the reverend or... You know, whatever. Depends on your denomination. It depends on your religion, I suppose, what, what you call them. Uh, but maybe we do something like this. And this is kind of like his little area that he comes up and lectures from. And then I think that's pretty much good. So I'm going to call it done. But at like 16 and a half minutes, I still would have liked to have done a lot more with the roof. But I hope you guys got some ideas. At least you could also, you know, make a... I think it would be better if there was like a little bit of a carpet kind of going down the middle here. But I think you guys kind of get the idea. So uh, there you have it, guys. A church. <laughs> and it took us a little longer than we would have liked, but that's okay. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.